So Margaret, you're a writer. Well, I don't really consider myself to be a writer. I'm more of an apprentice. I'm busy learning. Mm -hmm. But it was good to have something picked for presentation by professionals at the Octagon recently. And also, uh, last week, I had a poem that I was read in front of about 250 people at a medical meeting wow. in London. So I was uh, quite excited well about done. that. How did you become interested? Always loved poetry, loved words. And I love the way that you can play with words, get them to dance and sing and roll them around your mouth and taste them. Mm. And with singing in choirs a lot, um, that gave me an enjoyment of a lot of very beautiful poetry and prose. Um, did a little short course at Oakley University. That got me writing poetry. I thought, oh yes, I rather like this. And it's kind of taken off from there. Great. And um, what forms of poetry do you like the most? Well, I find when I'm writing that it kind of takes off in its own direction. And if it's something more traditional or humorous or a commentary, that tends to come out with rhythm and rhyme. Mm. But if it's something a bit more personal or a sadder subject, that comes out as free verse. And mm. it's, you just pair away, take away all the excess. And the, the poem actually comes out in, in the editing. And then you look at it and you think, wow, where did that come from? Right. What about what are your future writing plans? Anything and everything. I um, want to try a bit more prose writing, particularly dialogue. Mm. Um, carry on with what I'm doing and obviously do the exercises that we get at Bank Street, which are a big help because you've got a framework mm. and you then work within that. That gets your brain going. And carry on with the Open University essays, which I find yeah. very challenging, but it's all writing. Great. Thanks very much indeed. Thank you.